I was so highly impressed with all of the products that I used today to create this look and I used basically everything from e.l.f. Cosmetics with the exception of my mascara as well as like my foundation item. So if you're interested in what I thought as far as the pigmentation and the quality of the items, then go ahead and stay tuned because I'm going to show you each item that I used to create this look. Thanks guys. First off, the items that I use that are not from e.l.f. Cosmetics. I'm wearing my Makeup Forever HD foundation. I'm in the number 127. Today I tried a new way to apply it. I used this sponge and all I did was um, dampen the sponge a little bit. As you can see, I just used a little area and I pressed the foundation into my skin. And then I set it with my Maybelline Fit Me powder. I'm in the color 130. The brush that I used was from e.l.f. and this is their powder brush. It's a flat top brush that I absolutely love. Instead of typically like dusting and buffing the powder around my face, I've been learning that just a little bit of powder and kind of pressing it to set it has kind of helped my foundation to stay a lot longer because I have not like moved the product. And then my mascara is a sample from Tarte Cosmetics and this is their Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. My eye makeup is a combination of the mineral eyeshadows that I hauled as well as this natural eye palette that I showed you guys. And so first off, I used one of the cream eyeshadow um, as a base. And this one was in Candlelight. And it's just that white golden one in case you didn't get a chance to watch that video or you forgot. It looks like that. Now, in the natural eye palette, if you have it, I used from the top row, I used that gold color right there. I placed it on my lid. And then I also used this kind of toffee brown color right there to create my crease. And then this dark, deep, bronzy brown is that chocolate color right in my accent. Now, these are, um, they're pigmented but they were not as like shimmery as I wanted them to be. So that's where those mineral eyeshadows that I showed you came in. So I used two colors. The first is Celebrity. And um, I did start a blog. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to post the swatches on my blog for you. So you'll see a swatch of Celebrity, which is the golden color that I placed on the lid above that gold color from this palette just to kind of intensify and add a lot more shimmer. I would like to mention that I wet my brush. You can use like a spray bottle that has water. You can use your Fix Plus or like even Makeup Forever has a mist and fix that's great. Um, just spritz your eyeshadow brush and place the pigment above that base color that you had. And then I also went in with another mineral eyeshadow called Socialite and that was a deep chocolate like oh it's just beautiful it almost reminds me of like I want to say a good descriptive phrase of it would be like chocolate diamonds that's what it looks like it's just shimmery chocolate color and I used that to um, emphasize my outer corner now something that hands down I feel that you would want to give a try from elf besides the rest of these products is those eyeliners that I showed you. They came with the sharpeners at the end. These are crazy. Um, I used the black to line my upper lash and I winged it out a little bit. But if you guys remember when I swatched these, they are so pigmented. And I actually did use the sharpener for the black one because I wanted um, it to have a really pointy tip to do the wing out part. And the sharpener works great too. I mean... They really like pack a punch when they when you spend a dollar. I mean, you're getting a lot of quality. So anyway, I used the black for the top line. I used this. Um, now these don't have the names on them. I'm sorry, but I used the kind of taupey brown one that I showed you for my inner corner to right about there. And then remember that steel gray color that I loved. It looks like this. I used this to smoke out my lower lash line. So instead of having black on my lower lash line, I find that this gray color kind of gives it more of that smoky effect. So I just started from about halfway till that outer corner with this color. 
And then my waterline, I did use that black. It's such a great intense black. I really think these are totally worth you looking at the next time you're going to place an order from e.l.f. Cosmetics. Now, sticking with the kind of eye area, I wanted to show you guys the items that I use to conceal as well as highlight. And I am so thankful that I got this product because this is something that I'm going to repurchase. I think it's super convenient and I love the, the effect of it. I love the feel of it. So it is that under eye concealer and highlighter. This was the lightest one that I showed you and that is called Fair Slash Glow. This is the Fair Concealer and this is the Glow Highlighter. Now the applicator is just your basic applicator but I really like the product itself. So I did about three dots under my eye and then um, I just used my finger to blend it in and then I took two dots of the glow, which is the highlight, two dots right about there as well as here, just to give me a little bit of a lift in that upper eye area. And then what is really great is, remember I was really excited to try the eye brightener? which it came in a box that says it is part of their mineral line. It says mineral eye brightener. So at first glance, when I was doing the haul video and kind of diving into everything, it totally reminded me of my Well Rested from Bare Essentials, Bare Minerals. And to tell you the truth, it is so similar to that. So as you can see, it's kind of like a yellow-based corrective powder meant to brighten your under eye area. I like to use this e.l.f. angled foundation brush and although it's a foundation brush, it's very small as you can see and it's very thin. The reason why I like this is because to me it's just great for fitting it under the eye area as you can see right there. So I um, packed a little bit of that to kind of set my concealer and I did both sides and what's great is you can, you know, flip it and then look, it's just angled perfectly for the under eye area. And I think this is like maybe a dollar or two from e.l.f. as well, but I it came inside of my brush set, which if you guys are interested in a like a kind of a brush comparison or like, I don't know, impressions, I have bought two complete brush sets. One is the Sigma brush set. The other is the e.l.f. Cosmetics brush set. And so if that's something you'd be interested in hearing about, comment below um, because maybe that'd be a great way to let you guys who are in the kind of like discounted brush market know what I thought of these. But this, great for under the eye. So the cheek color that I chose to try out today was that e.l.f. Mineral Blush in the color pink. And this blush, I love. You know, usually I like a very like almost contrived blush I mean I'm not one that is like scared to wear like a lot of pigment for blusher but this one is great I mean it just gave me like a natural flush as you can kind of see I placed it right here and it's just beautiful it almost like looks like you're just kind of glowing and, and maybe it's because it's a mineral based blush which most of the blush that I use aren't aren't usually mineral blushes so I'm really glad that I gave this a try and then I also used that e.l.f. Contour and Blush Powder Duo. I used the bronzer. And you know what, you guys? You're right. It is a great bronzer. So to tell you the truth, I used the same kind of um, powder brush from e.l.f. I used this to contour as well. And the way that I, I chose that it, it works for me is I just use the very tip of the brush right around there. And I go like that. See how it just has it right there? And then what I do is I kind of almost like put the line right there and then I blend it. So just in case you were looking for a brush that might work, you know, th these kind of brushes, you can use them for so many different things and they're so cost effective. I did want to also make mention that I set my entire face with that e.l.f. Mineral Booster in the color Sheer. Now I didn't swatch this for you because basically it's just like a translucent powder. It kind of almost looks like a little peachy inside of the container, but it does go on sheer. And I noticed that it does what it says it was going to do. It said it was going to kind of help with the appearance of pores, fine lines, wrinkles. Um, your face just looks a lot more polished. So in my haul video, I showed you guys some lip items that I ordered, but they were not the mineral lipsticks. And you guys are so sweet. Um, one of my subscribers was mentioning to me that I have to try the mineral lipsticks from e.l.f. And you know what is so funny is today before you know I got ready and I put this face on, 
a box came from e.l.f. And I thought to myself, what could be in there? And then it dawned on me that I had ordered during that 50% off lip co promotional code thing a bunch of their lip items. And so I opened my box and I was like, yes, I have the mineral lipstick. So I'm going to show you guys what I have on my lips. Uh, many, many of these products came in the mail today. So I'm going to go ahead and post the swatches and the names of the lip items on my blog. So it's Hearts Honey Tea dot blogspot.com. I'll put the link below if you want to check out those swatches then they will be there on the blog for you to refer to. First off I use this elf lip primer and plum blah, 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 plumper. I was gonna say plumber. <laughs> I used this. I did not use the plump side which um, is just like this clear side of it. I used only the prime side, which almost looks like a concealer stick, and more than likely it probably is something like that. But I used this on my lip underneath, and um, it it seems to have done the trick really great um, as far as like neutralizing my natural lip color. And then I used this Elf Feather Proof Moisturizing Lip Liner in Natural Blush, and it's just like a nude lip liner. And so I lined the entire um, outline of my lip, and then, yay, mineral lipstick. I used the Elf's Natural Mineral Lipstick. It came in a box like that in the color Party Pink. Beautiful packaging, I might add, very sleek. And it just looks like that. And so I used that on the entire surface of my lip. And to top it off, I used the Mineral Lip Gloss in Pageant Princess. And it's just this really pretty um, pink. And so I use that on the top. And so I'm really stoked that I have the Mineral Lip products. And so um, thank you guys for being so sweet and like letting me know what is great items that you have tested, that have your stamp of approval, and I really appreciate that. So that's my face of the day using mostly e.l.f. products that I showed you in my haul. As I mentioned, go and check out the swatches for the lip products as well as I, I think I'm going to try to also post swatch pictures of the mineral eyeshadows on my blog. So heartshoneytea.blogspot.com, come follow me there and I am going to be doing a giveaway exclusive to people who are my subscribers as well as followers of my blog. So make sure to go ahead and follow me there that way when that um, announcement comes up you're good to go you guys have a great day take care bye